Welcome, uh, I'm Maxim, Maxim Grunin Art, and uh, starting a project, a drawing project, uh, an exercise for uh, learning more about uh, complexity and form. So uh, I begin here with uh, a pencil lightly sketching out a general shape of the object that I'm drawing. Um, it is possible to kind of make an assessment. Is this object more rectangular or triangular or circular or cylindrical, etc. And it could be a free shape. So the eyes are telling me what the outline, the overall, the main shape of this is. And so I um, draw that and then I take uh, another drawing tool, uh, a black pen, a writing pen, a pen, and uh, go back into this uh, general outline to start creating complexity, building complexity into first the contour, the outline, and then also I move into the in into the form or the center of the form and all other areas of the form and I progressively create notions that there is more complexity to it. So this is a exercise that's based on observation and uh, then translating what I am observing into a linear, like drawing it out with the line, a linear drawing from observation to the, it goes through my brain and then it coordinates into my hand and my fingers and the tool that's, that I'm holding is showing what I am seeing. And uh, in this case, let's say it's a drawing of a simple creature, a frog. It is a simple creature, but it's got lots of uh, wonderful, complex forms and angles and uh, features and so I set out to sketch that creature the form and uh, understand what my eyes are seeing through the act of drawing you can see that I am applying the notion of bold, me medium, mid weight, and light lines. So the bolder lines are used at the front to describe the arm of the frog that's the nearest to me. And then the further away portions of this creature are drawn much lighter. And then there is some shading added to support some of these notions. So the feature at the front gets a lot more done. And then I go on creating more uh, drawing. Uh, a sketching 
session or a drawing session is uh, instrumental in warming me up for another project so uh, in the beginning of any day or any art session that I'm going to start I am not quite there yet I'm not quite connected to being intentionally focused and observant and translating my observation into an image I might still be thinking about what happened yesterday or remembering my dream or I might be having resolving inner motions inner reality of communicating with uh, a relative or a loved one anything but I'm not ready to start so sketching and uh, quick drawing session is a really good warm-up exercise uh, I highly recommend doing this like lower the ambition of jumping right into the midst of a great art project and expect like amazing results no uh, how about I will gently and slowly warm up to it by doing less um, ambitious and less intense exercise and uh, I always notice that my results are poorer not as tuned in the beginning of any a session it's like I'm I'm just like getting around even my head and my body around doing this job but uh, as an hour goes by and as I am engaging myself in the act of drawing engaging myself in focusing on observation or using imagination sketching over the surface creating lines and shadows really soon I will experience a, a jump in personal quality like I do warm-up exercises before I do I create this video and uh, they are not as good looking as the next ones and I'm I'm still critical I think even the ones I'm showing you in the video are not always as successful and the sky is the limit for creativity and for good results but at the same time it's uh, not uh, like pressing myself to be Oh, a genius or to be so excellent every step of the way so I'm showing you raw and uh, imperfect part of my practice and I'm focusing on the sketching routines so let's talk a little bit about sketching looking at simple form and translating it into a drawing what's involved what is the strategy that I'm taking to create this drawing um, I, I adopted from my studies and from my experience I adopted uh, a process and it begins with understanding that before I can make a more or less recognizable drawing 
image on a pa- on a page i will need some simple start and that simple start is focused on recognizing the overall shape of let's say a frog some of the drawings in this video are more round or oval other are more triangular and then there are these slimmer oval starting forms there are even a little bit of a, a rectangular form when the head could be fit into a rectangle so before i get into a contour that's more complex before i draw the intricate grooves and bumps and changes of the diagonals before i carefully describe the eye or the finger i have this the most simple version of that form like a like a block of material from which i will carve or chisel or cut smaller shapes so that's the method start with a really simple understanding of either geometric form that the figure can fit into or an organic abstract multi-form a blob position this overall general form onto the page first and then i am starting to attach my eye my observation my intelligence to how else what else is happening in the simple form so how can i take this simple start and cut carve draw its complex version is the line going on an angle down how big is the next curve how big is the next turn in comparison to the other i often use the size of the main feature to measure other features with like if i compare the size of the head of the creature or the frog to the size of its arm or legs or body how many heads would the leg fit and then that can give me a really good um, mapping a good idea about how far i'm gonna draw each one of these lines so go lightly i'm going lightly over the outline of the creature i travel into the form and not just the outline with a pen to start picking up on maybe there is a, a mouth on that creature maybe the arm has a couple of elbows a couple of components that are positioned on different angles and they are somehow attached to the body so i will indicate everything slowly and lightly without over darkening without mm, pausing too long to complete something because overall i would like to have 
balanced progression so i am seeking uh, to sketch and indicate everything all of the features of the drawing before i get into finishing anything particular and as soon as i have the overall idea and lightly indicated drawn contours of a more complex form of the creature that i'm drawing then i am starting to increase the light and dark contrast by building up the foreground the closer features with mid weight medium weight line and then i go and build the closest components with the boldest bold heavier darker line and then i would start to introduce a little bit of shading to create even more notion of form it gets heavier and there is a shadow now added to the bottom portion of the object and also the now that the forms are more complex now that the legs and the fingers And they are all getting um, more defined. We're, we're seeing that there is um, lots of uh, smaller components like the upper leg, the another elbow. Um, like there are so many more features within the body of the frog or the creature that I'm drawing. Now I can shade into the form itself i would determine where is the light coming from it is most of the time the light is coming from the top area of you know there's a, either a photographer had a, a light source a flashlight or the daylight was there sunlight came in and it's really from top that the light is coming so most of the darker or medium dark information will land on the under on the bottom portions of the object of the form of the creature and so uh, sketching is a, a rough process sketches are meant to be raw unfinished they are the purpose of sketches is either educational or communication so we communicate our ideas that live in our head as visual artists we learn to communicate them through images and to start getting feelers or understanding or expressing of these images visually, then the simple basic sketching is very instrumental. Here I can show effectively what my creative idea is. And with education, learning how to use line, learning how to shade, learning how I would be able to draw something. This is where sketching is very useful and instrumental. It is meant to be done either on pages or inside a sketchbook. And it's meant for volume to look through volume of created 
um, roughly sketched material and uh, evaluate one's progress. Um, observational skills are also effectively trained with sketching. There is a tremendous amount of um, knowledge that could be communicated through just looking at something that I want to draw and then drawing that something on a page. This will teach me to pay keen, close, focused attention on what I am observing. What is the visual characteristic of each and every feature of the subject of my mm, drawing and what does my drawing end up looking like as a whole so i am showing you some basic mm, strategies if you want to call it techniques method, ways of thinking, ways of applying, ways of uh, working with material, basic material, a drawing tool, piece of paper, and the uh, human ability to observe and express. So I am boosting my ability with this systematic use of linear drawing from going starting with this really simple form and really light lines and then building progressively darker and darker information into the drawing with emphasis on darker ob darker areas appear closer so it's a strategy it's not uh, really based on talent or ingenuity this is a cohesive strategy let's darken the areas that are closest to me then they will pop to be closer let's use loose and unfinished drawing method first on the entire drawing and then closer to the end we can finish only a couple of important features and still have a very effective and beautiful result not everything needs to be carefully finished this is not a photograph a photograph and a video will do a much better quicker more efficient job at creating a photographic image so organic hand drawing is not competing <laughs> with a photograph so you know I am um, <laughs> just happy to bring this exercise to you and uh, pretty stoked about it and uh, stay tuned for a lot more and uh, now I'm going.